Mom delivers black triplets. Dad takes closer look, then bursts into tears. Prejudice is still an issue in America today. As much as we wish it wasn't, with the current state of our country, it seems it's getting worse rather than better. Rachel and Aaron Halbert are Caucasians who experience this themselves. The reason why is quite unique. They deal with it because of the color of their children's skin. Rachel and Aaron met each other on a blind date in 2004. Aaron was born and raised in Honduras until he was 10 years old. He became a missionary and had spent most of his years on several trips preaching the words of God. Rachel, on the other hand, was born in Mississippi. When she met Aaron, she knew right away that he was the one for her. Not only did they share the same humble personalities, but they also knew that they can make better changes in the world through the power of gospel. They got to know each other too well through missionary works. Before long, their relationship took a romantic turn. They had the same dream, and when they got married, they were both keen to start a family right away. The Halbert couple wanted a big and happy family. However, after years of trying, it seemed that their plans were not as easy as it sounds. Rachel was struggling to get pregnant. Eventually, the couple reached a mutual decision. Rachel and Aaron lived in Mississippi after marriage. Since they had a big home, they both agreed that it would look a lot better and happier if kids are running around it. So they did the necessary works and decided to adopt two African-American children. The Halbert couple knew how much the kids needed help. However, they wanted to give them more than that. Rachel and Aaron wanted to share their compassion and love. When the two African-American kids were officially adopted, they named them Ford and Catherine. The Halbert house became a home thanks to the arrival of two adorable children. Rachel was happy to see how easy the kids had settled and adjusted to their new environment. It seemed that they'd known each other for a long time. Of course, there were some people in their home state who raised their eyebrows. While they didn't directly confront the couple, whenever they walk out of their house with their adopted children, their actions and facial expressions were enough. Fortunately, Rachel and Aaron were not the types to be easily intimidated. The children's skin color didn't mean anything to them. They needed a home, and the color of their skin wasn't going to stop the Halbert couple from giving them one. While Rachel and Aaron were extremely happy for having Ford and Catherine in their lives, they often found themselves thinking that something was still missing. Both of them had dreamt of having a big family, and it felt that having two kids was not enough. Then one day, Rachel came across an interesting information about embryo adoption. When Aaron found out about the procedure, they agreed that they'd found the perfect solution that would make their family complete. The Halberts felt excited about the embryos that they were sitting frozen waiting to be born. Without further ado, they decided that it would be the perfect way to expand their family. But more than just merely making their family bigger, Aaron knew the reason why his wife was insistent. The procedure will allow Rachel to enjoy the magic of pregnancy and childbirth. She'd been dreaming of it for years. Together, the couple went to the embryo donation bank. There, they found twin embryos. What's more amazing was that the embryos were African-American. Rachel and Aaron decided that it would be perfect since they already had African-American children. This way, all of their children could be of the same race, even if they weren't of the same parents. Before they came up with the embryo implantation decision, the couple, especially Rachel, dealt with people in town staring at her and mocking her for adopting two children of a different race. Although there were times she couldn't understand why some people have to act like that, she just chose to keep quiet and continued to do what's right in her views. Her husband had been very supportive, as well as their families and friends. Rachel didn't let this ignorance change her mind about having the African-American twin embryos implanted. When she went to Honduras to see her doctor, it was time to make sure that her embryos were okay. After some tests, the doctors asked Rachel and Aaron if they were confident that they had the twins implanted. Rachel and Aaron thought that something was wrong. In their mind, they thought that one of the babies didn't make it. But when the doctor continued, it was their time to be shocked and surprised that they, their blessing, had been tripled. Rachel and Aaron were expecting twins. They were thinking about the names of their would-be daughters. However, it became clear that they needed to think of another name as the doctor revealed that Rachel wasn't carrying two babies. She was carrying three. Although they both felt overjoyed, the couple couldn't help but wondering how it happened. That's when the doctor told her that one of the embryos had split after implantation and she was now carrying triplets. With Ford and Catherine, the Halbert couple knew that they were incredibly blessed. Their decision to expand their family seemed to be favored by the heavens, and they were made even happier by sending out an additional blessing. From twins to triplets, 
Aaron knew that his wife was ecstatic. She struggled to conceive, always praying that someday she'd be able to feel that lump of life in her belly. Finally, when it was given to her, it was given real big. The happy mother said that the news was a true blessing. As always, there would be those people who would find fault in every situation, no matter how good it was. Some questioned the way Rachel chose to become a mother. According to Rachel, her children don't need to have her eyes or her nose to be able to call her own. She added that they don't even need to share the same skin color. When it comes to family, Rachel says that love is all it takes. According to doctors, pregnant mothers with multiple babies usually do not complete a full-term pregnancy. Since she was carrying triplets, her husband and family were all eyes on her health and safety. When Rachel was close to her due date, the doctors decided to perform a C-section early so that the babies could be born safely. When she delivered black triplets, her husband took a closer look and burst into tears. Although Aaron already considered himself as a full-fledged father to Ford and Catherine, nothing prepared him for the feeling he had outside the operating room. So it was the universal feeling that all fathers-to-be were talking about. When the babies were ready, Aaron excitedly held them in his arms. He couldn't believe how beautiful his three new children were, and that finally they have the family they'd always dreamed of. As soon as the triplets were born, Rachel and Aaron felt that their family was finally complete. When they returned to their neighborhood, the Halberts threw out a party as a way of giving thanks to their families and friends who'd been very supportive. They were right where they wanted to be, and even if there are people who are clearly not happy with their situation, they couldn't care any less. Regardless of criticisms, Rachel and Aaron can go out of their house with their five adorable kids, their heads held up high. They both knew that intolerant people in town couldn't keep them from taking their lovely children out and showing them off. Rachel and Aaron shared that while many people look down on their family for having African-American children, none of them can ruin their happiness. They're trying their best to live as good citizens, good neighbors, and good parents. Moreover, more people thank them for adopting children in need regardless of skin color. They keep on telling them that what they've done is as selfless and a fantastic thing. Since day one of their journey, Rachel and Aaron recognize the people who fully understand their missions and dreams in life. They both knew that they can't have it all, however, they have enough to make their lives worth living. The stares and the dirty looks, they don't mean anything to them. The couple was deeply in gratitude for all the people who'd offered a great deal of support during their journey too. Aaron took to Facebook and created a post that read, It's been heartening to see virtually all of your friends and family express overwhelming support to our family and the unusual way we've built it. In our minds, we're just living out our dream. A dream that may not look like the average family, but one that we're thankful could come true in light of our country's history. The Halbert children look happier than ever. It seemed that the optimism, kindness, and compassion of their parents had been passed on their veins as well. The family portraits might not look like the traditional portraits. However, one can see the love of each other's faces. And that's what family's really all about.